What's the Emojo Bull electric trike? That's coming right up. Hey guys, it's Rick from Run Playback. Today we're checking out the Emojo Bull electric trike. The Bull is a good option for older adults or individuals with limited mobility. Also, its large cargo capacity make it a solid utility vehicle for a diverse range of riders and needs. So let's get to it. First up, let's talk about the frame. Crafted from 6061 aluminum, the Emojo Bull promises durability while maintaining a profile that's easy on the eyes. And the emphasis on an ultra-low frame means it's accessible for almost all riders. It also has substantial carrying capacity, a characteristic that could be a game-changer for those with heavy cargo demands. Moving on to the powertrain, the Emojo Bull is powered by a 500-watt brushless hub motor and can reach a top speed of 20 miles per hour. This might not be the fastest trike out there, but for many, a comfortable cruise is more practical. Powering the motor is a 48 volt 14 amp hour removable battery with an option for dual batteries. The prospect of extended range is a good feature and because the bull has a large cargo capacity, there's plenty of room. The Emojo has a right hand thumb throttle and five levels of pedal assist. The tune on the controller is decent and makes riding it easy for most users. The touted 65 mile range is noteworthy but is contingent on factors such as rider weight, terrain, and level of pedal assist. The inclusion of a Shimano 7 speed transmission transmission system caters to riders who enjoy fine-tuning their ride experience. Whether tackling inclines or opting for a leisurely cruise, the 7 speed provides flexibility to adapt to diverse terrain. A standout feature of the Emojo Bull is the differential, a component that influences acceleration, steering, and braking. The capacity for the rear wheels to turn at varying speeds adds a layer of stability, which is perfect for navigating tight spaces. Today we're going to check out the Emojo Bull electric trike. We'll start with the wheels, which is a 20 inch by 2.5 inch street tire. The last electric trike that we reviewed was 18 inch and it was a little bit small. Feels like 20 inch is the right size for electric trikes. We also have this integrated headlight and then you'll notice that it's attached to this integrated front basket with the Emojo logo over here. You know, nice sturdy basket, has a wooden platform, plenty of room for your cargo. We have the integrated front fender and then the 500 watt front hub motor. So the motor is attached to mechanical disc brakes not hydraulic and 160 millimeter brake rotor we have swept back handlebars and then the faux leather grips over here display controls on the left side center mount lcd display shimano seven speed transmission system and a right hand thumb throttle another cool feature is the brake lock so the brake lock prevents the trike from rolling back if you're on a hill so all you got to do is hold down the lever push this button down and it's locked in you also have it on the other side over here so a really good safety feature you don't want this thing rolling down potentially hurting someone. Now let's talk about the frame. It's a nice glossy red, very visible. So this is an ultra low frame, 6061 aluminum frame. It's pretty long and low, which makes it really accessible for people with mobility issues or seniors. I think the only drawback is that it's really close to the ground. So you don't have that much clearance. This thing is really meant for the streets. It's not really meant for off-roading because you'll definitely uh, scratch the frame. You also have the chain over here and I believe the uh, tensioner down here and it sits super low, as you could see, not much clearance. I mean, if it hits something, no big deal, but just something to keep in mind. It has a nice, big, comfortable saddle seat with the backrest and the backrest is adjustable. So this goes up and down depending on your height. We also have 20 by 2.5 inch rear wheels and each wheel actually has mechanical disc brake. So you actually have three brakes working at the same time, which is really cool. Plenty of stopping power. We have a large rear basket, cargo basket, nice sturdy wooden platform. So plenty of room to haul stuff, plenty of room for your cargo. And it just feels really, really secure, really nice. And right below it is a section for the battery and so this is a removable 48 volt 14 amp hour battery there's also mounting points here if you want to add a second battery to increase the range so this is a great utilization of this space it's out of the way it's pretty discreet so you get a set of keys and the lock is over here on the left side kind of hard to access can do it key in unlock it and then battery 
slides out. So here's the battery power indicator over here and 48 volt, 14 amp hours. Nice and flat and it's a good design for doing a dual battery setup. You'll notice this sliding plate right here. So the battery just fits into the rails. It doesn't snap in, just goes all the way back. And then you gotta make sure that you lock it with the key, turn it all the way to the right and it's locked in. Simple. You also have the integrated rear taillight. So it'll be visible when you're riding. So the differential actually influences the handling of an electric trike. And what it does is it varies the speed of the rear wheels as you're riding. So it's not just a front hub motor just pushing a ton of power and pulling everything behind it. The wheels are working in tandem for better steering, better acceleration, better braking, that kind of thing. So the total weight of the trike is 80 pounds, which is not that light. And it's also not foldable. I mean, you could probably fold the stem down a little bit, but if you wanted to transport this thing on a vehicle, it would be pretty difficult to do it by yourself, uh, especially, you know, loading and unloading. And it also has 300 pounds of carrying capacity, which is plenty and definitely great for hauling groceries or firewood or whatever. For me, I actually use it as an all-around utility vehicle. So first ride with the Mojo Bull electric trike. I have the seat at its lowest setting. Super easy to get on and off. And then we'll set it to pedal assist level 3. And let's see how this feels. Give it a little throttle to get moving because it is a little bit heavy. And there we go. Pedal assist is very strong at level three. Let's bring it down. <laughs> Let's bring it down to two. We're rolling on some uneven terrain in this uh, busted up parking lot. I can definitely feel the differential working as I make these turns. You can feel the wheels moving at different speeds to control the handling. And what's good about the front hub motor is that you could do these like really tight turns like this. So it'd be really easy to maneuver in and out of things. Let's set it to pedal assist level five. Plenty of power. There we go. Now I'm taking these turns at significant speed and I don't feel like I'm gonna tilt over. I feel pretty secure on the trike. I wouldn't advise going super fast and making turns on a trike, but it feels like this thing can do it. And it feels really, really stable, really easy to ride. I don't think you really need to go any faster than 20 miles per hour, to be honest, on this thing. Okay, let's test out the mechanical disc brakes. Plenty of stopping power. First impressions, really nice, really pleasant. This is only the second electric trike that I've reviewed, but I feel like the technology is getting better. This definitely feels like something that I would recommend for beginners to even experienced users who want something that's more like a utility vehicle. And definitely seniors or people with mobility issues. If you wanted to get into electric bikes and maybe you felt like you're not physically able to, this is something that I would recommend because it keeps you planted, it keeps you stable, and you still get that exhilaration that a lot of electric bikers get. Adjustable saddle seat, integrated front basket, and a large rear basket contribute to the trike's functionality. However, the 300-pound capacity comes at the cost of an 80-pound total weight, which may pose challenges for those who may transport the trike regularly. Mechanical disc brakes, integrated headlight, and rear brake light are solid safety features, and the 20-inch by 2.5-inch street tires with integrated front and rear fenders feels practical and easy to handle. On the downside, the bull's substantial size, with a total length of 70 inches, might be a limiting factor for users who will need to transport the trike in a car. Loading it onto vehicles could be a logistical challenge and should definitely be considered. In summary, the Emojo Bull is a compelling package, combining a robust frame with features that cater to the needs of riders seeking substantial carrying capacity. While there are considerations such as size and weight that might impact transportability, the trike's positive attributes even things out. Also, given the trike's weight, pedaling from a complete stop on a steep hill can be challenging with the motor cutoff sensor, and if your feet aren't at the right angle, riders should be prepared for the additional effort required to get going in such circumstances. It's worth considering if your daily route involves steep inclines. Overall, the Emojo Bull is a simple, affordable option that caters to riders of various heights and sizes. While experienced riders may find themselves desiring a bit more power, and the size can be a concern for transport, the Emojo Bull excels in comfort, safety, and usability, especially for those with mobility issues who want to enjoy the thrill of e-bikes. With its impressive list of features, 
features, the Emojo Bull electric trike is definitely worth considering. If you wanna dive into more EV tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. We'll see you guys in the next video.